What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome to my Christ subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Scorps, and you enjoy my content, you can ring the bell um, and be notified for future readings if you enjoy my gabby mouth and enjoy the channel and yazzy, yazzy, yazzy. Just saying. Um, this is for Sign of Scorps for week three of November of 2021. This could resonate if you have Scorps in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter. Free general reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. I got one channeled in as I was meditating on your week week three's energy for November 2021. And um, the, the channel is a secret affair is about to be exposed soon. So a secret affair is about to be exposed soon. That could be you in the secret affair or somebody connected to you in a secret affair however that resonates but some kind of secret affair energy is about to be exposed soon so you plug that in how that resonates or you or maybe for some you are exposing the secret affair but somehow a secret affair is about to be exposed um and obviously they were trying to keep it secret whether you were or somebody you're connected to was however that resonates in your life just saying um Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the bestest. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I do. I still have some slots open for personal readings. If you are interested, it's $100 for 15 minutes. Well, I do it via Google Duo. If you are interested, if you'd like to book one, uh, my number's in the description box below. You're welcome to text me. Okay. So some kind of secret affair energy is about to be exposed. Whether you're exposing it or you're in this secret affair, I, you know, you have to plug in your life how it fits. Death, reverse, princes of cups upright, three of uh, cups upright. A highly intuitive Scorpio knows a secret affair is going on. They are about to get very, very smart. Investigative energy for some, for some friends, help for some, both. Going to get the evidence they need. Oh, oh my God. Okay, well, for some, it's... Uh, Somebody in a secret affair that's connected to you. For some, I feel it might be a spouse or a partner, um, but you are highly intuitive and you know the secret affair is going on. So I think it might be your partner or your spouse, how that resonates. Because for some of you, I mean, you're getting people involved. So I don't think it's you having the secret affair. For some, I mean, it, this isn't, this isn't, this is you knowing a secret affair is going on. I'm just saying. So. For some, you're going to get your friends involved. For some, you're going to get investigators involved. For some, you're going to, like, private PI investigate the energy, I feel. For some, it's both. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, I heard to get the evidence you need. So the evidence of this person in their, in their secret affair. This is not you having the secret affair in this situation. Um, it is somebody else. So death reversed. You know it has, you're highly intuitive who this resonates with. You know it hasn't ended. That's your um, chick -a doo or chick -a dude having a secret affair. They're coming off the femme energy, or they could be masculine with heavy femme energy. How that resonates, and then three of cups upright is um, third party energy, third party secret affair energy. I feel you are married to this person, or you're supposed to be in a relationship with them. If this resonates, and they're having a secret affair, that's exactly what I think. For some, you can be dealing with another Scorpio because it's a Scorpionic energy or not. If you are, they can have Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Open, Hammer, and Jupiter. You plug it in how it resonates. But uh, whoever this is for, you're highly intuitive and you're suspecting it. I heard you know it hasn't ended. So I think you have busted this person in the past and they told you they, it ended and it really hasn't. That's exactly what I think. But you plug it in how it resonates. That's, that's exactly what I think according to the messages. I'm serious. Um, so much so you're about to get your friends involved for some, for some PI investigative energy, for some, it could be law enforcement investigative energy for some both. You plug it in, how it resonates and it's going to be very effective. Okay. I heard it's going to be very effective. So 
the investigative type energy, whether it's PI or law enforcement or both, or the friends or both, I heard it's going to be very effective. Maybe for some, your friends are in law enforcement, possibly for some of you guys. That's what I'm feeling for some. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. It hasn't ended. Okay, I heard it hasn't ended. So this one, it has not ended. Okay, so it hasn't ended is what I heard. It hasn't ended. And the first spirit message was a secret affair was about to be exposed. And then we have one that has not ended. A lot of secret affair energy in here, a lot. Oh my God, already. And we're only five minutes in. So I think it's one that your partner told you they had ended it with somebody and they really have it. For some of you guys, that's exactly what I think. Spirit messages, you have a sign of Scorpio. A friend of your past, a so-called friend of your past, is about to ask you for money. It would not be a smart idea. You know this person is a con. Earth sign energy. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates with you. Um, apparently you have a friend of the past that I heard from spirit, you know, they're a con. So, you know, they're a con artist, basically. Um, they, they go around spoofing people for money. Um, don't do what they say they're going to do. A con artist, for sure, for sure. Um, I heard it's an art sign, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Midday, or Jupiter. But it's somebody from your past, a so-called friend. So a friend of me, well, friend of me, con artist type energy. Um, but I heard they're going to ask you for money. I heard from spirit, it would not be a good idea to do it. So I think they're going to ask you for a lot of money because this is freaking 10 of pentacles upright, the biggest money card in the throw. So I think they're going to ask you for a hell of a lot of money. For some, I feel they're going to ask you for a loan and then they never pay you back. Um, that's what I feel for some, but you plug it in how it resonates. I heard from spirit, it would not be a good idea. It's an earth sign of your past, but they are a shady earth sign. Very low vibrational, shady earth sign. They can have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midhaven, Jupiter. You plug it in how it fits if that resonates for you. And one particular Scorpio is about to learn of a Gemini trying to embezzle money. They are about to contact a very important person and report this. It's going to be very effective. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, Scorps. Um, and for uh, another one of you guys, I heard um, you're about to learn of a Gemini attempting to embezzle money. They could have Gemini in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midhaven, Jupiter. I certainly feel for some it could be a masculine energy or a femme that takes on heavy masculine, however that resonates. Um, but they're attempting to embezzle some kind of money in some shape, form, or fashion. But I heard you're about to learn of this and you're about to contact a very important person. Um, so like friends in high places or high connection S type energy. Um, I heard whoever you're about to contact, it's going to be very effective. So it's going to put an end to it and create many negative series of chain events for this Gemini. I know this. Okay. I heard it's going to put an end to it and, um, create many series of chain events negatively for this Gemini. So. In this situation, this is the embezzled money. They're, I heard they're attempting to embezzle. 
That's a lot of freaking money. Ten of Pentacles upright. That's the biggest money card in the throw. It's a lot, a lot of money. They're attempting to embezzle it right now, but you're about to get wind of this. This is the Gemini. It could be a masculine or a femme that takes on heavy um, masculine energy, how that resonates. Unstable, ungrounded, unreliable, undependable because they're trying to embezzle money from someone, some people, a group, a family, etc., etc. How that resonates. But I heard um, you're going to make a very important phone call to a very important person. Um, and I heard it's going to be very important and create negative series of chain events for this Gemini. So you go with your bad self, Scorpio, if that resonates for you. Absolutely, freaking lootly, man. Embezzlement is, embezzlement's theft. That's theft. Um, yeah. I mean, you shouldn't ever money launder, thieve, embezzle any, anything from anybody, anytime, any day of the week. Spirit messages you have for sign of Scorpio. A Scorpio is about to find out a Leo is pregnant. For some Leos, you are in a relationship with this person. For some, you're not. Okay. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, Leo energy. Heard for some of you guys, you're about to find out a Leo is pregnant. For some of you guys, you're in a relationship with this Leo. So I'm presuming you're going to be happy that they're pregnant. For some, you are not in a relationship with this Leo. And you're about to find out this Leo is pregnant. They could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Jupiter. Obviously, it's got to be a feminine Leo or a Leo that has... Femme and masculine parts, how that resonates, but they have enough, part, you know, the feminine parts to produce a child. So for some, you are actually in a relationship with this femme or femme S type energy. For some, you are not. So you plug it in how it resonates. The hang woman upright, seven of pentacles reversed, six of swords upright. A Scorpio is about to lose a lot of money in a betting situation soon. It's going to give them a huge wake-up call. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Heard a Scorpio is about to lose a lot of money in a betting situation soon. It's going to give the Scorpio a huge wake-up call. So if this resonates with you, I heard, um... You're going to lose, I heard you're going to lose a lot of money in a betting situation soon. So I don't know if that's poker, if that's crafts, if it's freaking Russian roulette, if it's um, like a secret seven test type situation, betting on people in their homes. Hell, I don't know. But it's some kind of betting situation, how that resonates. Um, and you're going to lose a lot of money. It's going to give you a huge ass wake up call. So the enlightenment energy, um, the huge ass wake up call when you lose all the, uh, a hell of a lot of money on this betting, whatever the hell it is. This is um, the law, money loss of the betting, seven of pentacles reversed, and six of swords upright is you being pissed about it. So you plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates for you. It's going to have this Scorpio make a lot of changes in their life after this occurs. Okay, I heard it's going to have a Scorpio make a lot of money, um, not a lot of money, I'm sorry, have a Scorpio make a lot of changes in their life after this occurs. So after you lose this large chunk of money in this betting, um, betting situation, because uh, it's seven of pentacles reversed, seven of pentacles reversed, so it's negative seven, negative ten in the row. So it's a, it's a good chunk there, it's a good chunk. I heard it's going to cause you to make a lot of changes in your life, so probably not spending as much as you wanted to um, because you lost all this money on betting. It sounds like a bad, bad investment. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages you have sounds works. We'll do one more. A Scorpio is 
about to betray a Gemini in a huge way. Really tired of their bullshit. Knows they should have never got involved with this person to begin with. Okay, so you plug in. You're pulling in heavy Gemini energy. Um, if this resonates for you, Scorpio. Um, I heard a Scorpio is about to betray a Gemini in a huge way. They know they should have never gotten involved with this, this Gemini to begin with. It was a bad idea, basically. So, um, you plug in and how it resonates. They could have Gemini on their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and maintain with Jupiter charts. If that resonates with you, Scorpio. Um, I feel like bad apple energy with that. I just want to say, I feel like bad apple energy with that message. Because um, I heard you should never, you know, you intuitively know you should have never got involved with this Gemini. It can be a masculine or thin Gemini. But um, I feel like bad apple energy. Like, you know they're a bad apple. And you should have never got involved with them to begin with. That's exactly what I feel. But you plug it in how it resonates. Separating from this Gemini. It is the best. Intuitively, this Scorpio knows this. Okay. Her separating from this Gemini is the best. And intuitively, intuitively, this Scorpio knows this. So you separating from this Gemini is best for you, basically. Is what I'm gathering from this. The world upright, three of swords upright. A Scorpio is still healing from heartbreak of the past. Twin flame situation. But they're not telling anybody internal grief. This Scorpio may reach out to this person soon. Been thinking about it a lot. A, a lot. Okay, so you plug in. Wow, that's deep. That is so deep. Holy crap, that's deep. So you plug in how it resonates. I heard a, um, if this resonates for you, Scorpio, um, I heard twin flame energy. I heard twin flame. So, but you're not in energetic contact with this twin flame if this resonates with you. Um, it sounds like it's been over a long, if it was ever anything, it was over a long time ago. For some of you guys, it may have never been anything, and you, but you just intuitively know they're your twin flame. Meaning, you could have been in energetic contact with them, whether it was a friend, a neighbor, a co-worker, etc., etc., but you never dated them, but you know in your heart, they are your twin flame, if that makes sense. That's what I'm feeling for some. For some, you could have actually dated them. You could have actually dated them. You could have actually been in a relationship with them, but it's just been over for a long time, if that, if that makes sense. But however that resonates, you've been thinking about them a lot. You've been thinking about them a lot. You're still, you're still not healed from, from this, from the energetic separation and from you not being with the twin flame, but you're not telling anybody. Very good poker face. Okay. I heard very good poker face just now. So you have a very good poker face. So you have a very good poker face and you don't tell people that you're not healed from this twin flame connection. Um, you don't tell people that you miss this person, you think about this person, um, yazzy, yazzy, yazzy. But inside, you're not healed. You haven't done the healing, um, healing or shadow work or both on this person. And you still think about them, you still miss them. And I heard you might end up contacting them soon. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. So uh, world upright, it's um, the cycles, the world, I'm sorry, the, the wheels turning, the wheels turning, the wheels turning. Meaning you're moved on with your life. They moved on with their life. You're not in energetic contact. The wheel is moving. And y'all are living life separately, but you're still hurt over the situation. That's exactly how I'm taking this. You plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you.
If you reach out to this person, it's very, very important to be honest. Know this. Because you know they are very honest. Okay, wow. I heard if you reach, if you do reach out to this person, Scorpio. So, because some of you guys, I heard in here, you were thinking about reaching out to them. So, if you do reach out to them, spirit message in that was, it's very important to be honest to them because you know they're honest. So, you know, of course, you know, what you put into the universe, you get back. So, you've got to be honest. If you're not honest with them, I'm sure they probably will not respond back to you. They will not contact you. Um, because you know they're honest. You know they're honest because when you were in energetic contact with them, I'm presuming they were very honest with you. So if you're not honest with them and you're a huge ass player or manipulator, it probably wouldn't be a good idea to reach out to them is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So if you're a huge ass player, manipulator, just think you can go in there and just manipulate the situation, you, you know you can't with this one. So you know you got to bring it your freaking A game. And if you don't want to bring your A game, it wouldn't be smart to do it at all. Is what I'm taking from this. But you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. A Scorpio is about to create a negative series of chain of events for a Pisces soon. Very negative series of chain of events. Some for a Pisces, some for a Gemini. You are pulling Gemini energy in here like nobody's freaking business, but a, a negative Gemini pulled you here, Pi um, not Pisces, a Scorpio. Good Lord. Um... So some of you guys are going to start creating a negative series of chain events for a Pisces, some for a Gemini, some for both. They can have Pisces or Gemini and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, Ben, Hammer, Jupiter, Charge. You plug it in how it resonates. And for one particular Scorpio, a conversation with a masculine Leo is going to be very important soon. Okay. And for one particular Scorpio, uh, conversation with a masculine Leo is going to be very important soon. And you're pulling in Leo energy in here strong too, masculine and fem. So um, they could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, moon, and Jupiter. It's a masculine Leo. It's some kind of very important, integral conversation with a masculine Leo. So you plug it in how it resonates. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. Namaste.